all yes mm -hmm. when you go through every american legion yes uh -huh. uh april 2018 yeah the boy's life mm -hmm. gps location every membership all planned giving and then give me the architectural prints that were used to issue the building permits for every american legion <laughs> I just wanted an approximation about how much I would have to give to restore them to what they were at the time that they first opened up. <laughs> and then what innovations I could put into them as kind of a gift to those that are veterans <laughs> so that their utility costs would be significantly less. <laughs> now I know. Okay. Fitness first. <laughs> Big bunch of veterans there sitting around 85 years old thinking they better go out there and do some KP. Oh my God. <laughs> Did I say that wrong? <laughs> or is it PT? <laughs> it's PT. <laughs> KP is where you go clean the toilets, isn't it? <laughs> physical training is where you go work out. <laughs> you know, a lot of these veterans, once they get trained in the whole physical training thing of being a veteran, yes, <laughs> it stays with them for quite a long time, doesn't it? <laughs> you ever sit around talking about how many push-ups you can do? or <laughs> You got one of those Marines that at 85 years old will kick your fucking ass <laughs> because of the... <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> he's like no okay <laughs> you're always testing each other <laughs> former <a> ranger <laughs> vietnam vet <laughs> no let's see how fast you can do push-ups today <laughs> i know there is some <laughs> stereotype of machoistic <laughs> It's a stereotype. <laughs> Those that were <laughs> in scene combat. <laughs> um, you know, I was reading this, right? This Boy Scout Club Scout book. You know, got a lot of different feathered friends in here and helmets. Yes. And uh, they're doing something here. Oh, no, before you go. And uh, I was looking at something. Yes. <laughs> now, oh, look at this. Oh. Science in the gym. Yeah, it wasn't that. Just a second. I'll find it here in just a second. Oh, pricey paintings. Look at $450 million. Could we go through the actual ownership of all the paintings that cost more than $10,000 again? I'd like to know if any of them are in the family and if they got compensated for violating the United States. Oh. Well, start off with that $450 million painting, the the Da Vinci, wasn't it? Or what is it again? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Leonardo Da Vinci sold for the most expensive artwork ever. <laughs> <When she, laughs> well, if that's the most expensive painting ever sold, yes. <laughs> Give me the actual ownership of the last 40 years of paintings that were from $450 million dollars. <laughs> down to $10,000, and then who bought and sold them over the last 40 years? <laughs> I just wanted to know, are you in the family today? Are you? <laughs> now, it might be that I'll sue you for your artwork. <laughs> you you insured it. Mm -hmm. You spent $150,000 on a painting, and you're a Superior Court judge. <laughs> it was You had to pay for it because you had to pay somebody off. <laughs> Total piece of shit. They got it at a garage sale, and you bought it for $100,000. <laughs> You know, you could really screw up the art market if you start doing that. 